What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be using the wash and cure from Cubic. So um, I just want to show you guys this machine because I got this one because we got sponsored the Voxy Lab resin printer and we have just finished our first print on it which is absolutely amazing and what I want to do is I want to show you we've used the money that we saved up to get one of these to buy the wash and cure system so uh, this is going to be so much uh, easier for us to use so let's have a look I think it's called any cubic I think that was the name of the wash machine it was like 199 pounds and they had it on sale on amazon for 84.99 so i thought you know what why don't we just go ahead and get it set it up do an unboxing video on it and check it out because we're going to be mass producing these um models over and over again so i wonder if this one will come out differently to the last I don't know if it's bigger, smaller, the same size. I'm really not too sure. What I do know is I've got it out. No idea where we're going to keep all these boxes. There's a lot of boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it back up again and then unbox it this way. Take off. Perhaps the top looks like it's all stuck down. Maybe it's one piece. Yeah, it's in half, that's fine. Ooh, yellow. Yeah, so it's called any cubic. I think pretty much all the wash and cure stations are pretty much the same, the same as the Creality one and uh, you know the other ones that are out there. So is this gonna come off as one piece? Ooh, okay. So that comes off. Oh, let's sit on top of that, okay. All right. So, this, this looks really nice. So this is what it looks like here. We will have an up close look of it in a moment. And this is maybe the power adapter. So no, this is some extra pieces that come with it, which are pretty cool. Some more extra pieces nice I've got so many pieces for present for printers and stuff like that now I really don't know what to do with half of it so let's lift that up there <laughs> instruction manual it just looks incredible it's really well made so this is the wash station, which looks really nice. For $84.99, you get a lot of kit for your money. In this video, we're just kind of just showing off, uh, you know, what it's like and unboxing it wise uh, but in another video what we'll do is we'll go through it in great detail uh, so you guys can see what it looks like so as you see here it's quite a big container that you get and the power pack is in here as well everything is really well packaged like super well packaged I'm so happy with how well it is. Um, so when you're washing it I think the motor in there is magnetic and it spins around. I'm not too sure what this bit is or whether it's needed or not. I'm sure we'll find out. So this sits in, so you sit your model in there and then you just lower it into the vat so it can be cleaned. And then obviously you can just store this nicely out of the way with the cleaner in there, which is really handy. Uh, and then there is the curing station here. So this is where you will stand your model on this when it's curing, when it's going to be dry. And it's got a nice little ridge in there as well. And then while it's all happening, you just pop the lid on top. Everything always fits really nicely and really well. I don't know what this bit's for, but we will have a little read up and check, but this is pretty much what comes in the kit 
just another incredible unit. Whoops. So you get an adapter to change it into a plug that you need. So you just push it and click it to lock it. And it comes with a smaller adapter compared to the one uh, that was for the Voxy Lab because the Voxy Lab one has got this big power pack, whereas this one has just got direct mains into the back. Again, all of the switches and stuff are in the back of it, which is fine, which we'll show you. So on the back here, the power goes into this hole here, and then there is a switch on and off. There was two switches, I'm guessing one does, oh, no, there's just on off, sorry. So that's just on off. And then on the front here, we've got some dials and another little tiny LCD screen for how long you I want to wash it for, or how long you want to cure it for. So we're gonna get the instructions, we're gonna have a quick read, and then we'll look over and we'll bring you a bit closer so you guys can see it up and close. So with this any cubic wash and cure, so <laughs> look at this thing, it's just absolutely incredible. I know I keep saying it, but it really is. It just is so basic for what the money is. You get eighty four ninety nine on offer from Amazon and you get so much for your money. So it's just so simple to use. I've just plugged it in and turned it on from the back. You get a little reflective sheet here which comes with it. So you can put that in the bottom when you're curing. So that just sits over the bottom and then your base plate will go over the top of that when it's being cured absolutely fantastic with the wash station though even even better so what you do is it's magnetized so as you can see here i'll just show you there's a little bit of rubbish on there and there is um something in there still so let's just quickly take that out let's take out a bit of foam and then you'll see there's a little blade in the bottom so what you need to do is you just sit that on the top there and then it magnetizes so it doesn't move and then you just put the lid back on and then that clicks into place so it's got little clicks to hold that down and on this you can put your model into here into that little tray and then you can lower it down into the solution and then what that would do is once it's at the bottom it will wash your piece so let's just take that back out quickly it probably goes in this way maybe i don't know if there's a certain way around it goes but yeah it goes in that way so it only goes one way around but then it will wash it in there you can however leave it on the top of the base what it's which it is stuck to and you can just put this little grid in here which it comes with and then that sits in the top there like so and then you can set that in so your model is still upside down and then it'll wash around while it's on the base so isn't that absolutely cool so it, what you do is you just press this button until it goes to cure cure is here and then wash is here when it's on wash you just set the minutes on how long you want it to be on for so say like that was one minute and then you just press this in and then that will start to spin and then that will generate and wash the stuff so what we'll do is we'll just stop that quickly so that is all you need to do to get it to go. So you just set it for say like three minutes, three minute wash, and it will just go ahead and wash. So we'll just change it down to cure. And what we need to do is just take this off, which is so easy, so simple. And then all you need to do is add the reflective sheet, which is just here, onto the base. You pop that inside, and then you just set how long you want to cure it for. And then you just press the button and then what will happen does it want us to put this on top there you go you have to have the cover on it knows if the cover is off or not how cool is that look at that it won't cure unless the cover's on and then it spins around and it will cure what you have there so what we need to do now guys we need to now go and take our model off the base we're going to put it into the cure and rack, fill it up, and we're going to keep it on a quick cycle. So this is going to be amazing. Let's stop that. As you already know, this is the first time we're doing this, guys. So you're going to have to bear with us while we try. So I just need to lift this off and get our model out from underneath there. And we need to just release him from the base plate. So what we're going to try and do is release him 
from here. I don't know how easy or hard it's going to be or if it's even going to break or not. So there was kind of almost like a like a film on the bottom. Like a base film. I'm not sure whether that's meant to be there or not. I'm not sure. But there is one. There's one built up. I don't know if you can see it. It's built up like it's only a little base. I'm worried it's going to fly off. I don't think it will. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> so that was quite fun. And as you can see, it's now it's sitting on its own little base. I don't know if it's supposed to have a little base like that or whether that's something that's happened. But what I do know is what I want to do is get him in to there. He's very slimy. I'm hoping he fits in this. So I sit him in there and get the resin off. I don't know whether he was meant to have a base like that. I, I really don't know. Um, but I think it's just created its own one anyway. But I don't think it's meant to have one. I'm pretty sure it isn't. I'm just getting off little bits of the resin off my gloves so that I can lift off that lid without damaging it. Because I need to take the lid off over there. So we're going to grab this lid off here. So we're going to take off the bottom curing station. The reflective sheeting, and we are going to bring over the container. Should be wearing a mask, guys, if you're doing this. I'm in a really, really well ventilated area, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I'm going to pour the contents of this isopropanol into that. Now it's fully submerged. So we'll just set the three minutes and do that again. And then what we'll do is once the three minutes have finished, we will come back. Right guys, as you can see here, the Charizard has changed color. He is in a gray because I've reprinted another one in gray just to show you the curing process of the Charizard. I didn't want to make the video really long with how to remove all the supports and stuff like that because you will need certain tools and you will need to bathe it pretty much like for 30 seconds in warm water until the supports become loose and then you can remove them. But I want to do a complete video guide on how to do that separately to this. But this is just the, how to use the wash and cure. So as you saw just a minute ago, we put the Charizard into the wash and we washed all the resin uh, residue off of it. And then what I have done is I had to soak this in warm water and then remove the supports with this little device. But we'll do a full video on that. Once you have removed them, all you need to do you will need to lift this up you will need to place your charizard or whatever print you're doing on there and then you need to set it to cure on there 
and then what I did is set it to about four minutes pop the lid back on and then click go and then what you'll notice is it will cure it so what is good is because the silver base there is reflective and blue reflective what it does is the lights light it up and then it will cure it as it's going around and the reflective pieces will reflect up and cure it from underneath as well which is really good and as you can see there it is now fully curing what i'm going to do is going to take you right in to see the curing process and then once that's done, the video will end. And then in the next video, we'll show you how to remove supports after a 3D resin print. Okay, guys? So let's go have a look at it close up. As you can see there, guys, the print is now finished curing. So what we need to do is just remove the base, or the, should I say remove the top? So once that's removed, you'll be able to see that this is all cured up. Ooh, a bit close there for you. So if you noticed, uh, there are some imperfections where the where the supports were holding the Charizard on, but you can kind of tell that there is so much detail in this. But what we're going to do in the video after we've shown you the supports, we will show you how to clean these up and how to prime them and get them ready. What I do want to mention though, which is very important, is always wear gloves after the print has finished. Always put gloves on when you are handling the model. What I've noticed is if you handle these with your actual skin, what happens is the... I don't know what it is on here, but something reacts with it and it starts to make the uh, resin sort of go fuzzy and furry and it doesn't have a very good effect and what it does is it starts to ruin the detail and I don't know why I think it just has a reaction with skin or the heat from your hands so always wear some gloves when you are attempting to handle them after and during any of the process that you're doing it so there you go guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you please like share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care now bye bye